Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Triolet Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover a unit. Check for a matching contact in your org from the module Build a Simple Flow. So this is the second unit in the series of this project. In the first unit, we had created one flow by the name New Contact, and we had added few of the input components on the screen flow. In this unit, we will be just using that same flow and we will make some changes in order to pass this unit's challenge. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground, which I've already done and go to your setup. From setup, uh, you will land on this uh, home page where in the quick find you have to just go to flows and there this uh, list of all the flows that are present in your org will appear. Now here is the new contact flow on which we worked upon in the previous unit. So uh, if you have not checked out, I have created the whole video over there and explained each and every step in detail. So you can visit there as well. Now in this unit, uh, let's quickly move ahead uh, with the concept. Now here, what we are going to do, we are going to add one more element by the name get records. Now what this get records is going to do is, so let's first add this. So after this uh, screen flow, a screen element, we are going to add this uh, get record element. So I will just copy the label from here, find a match. Let's go back to a flow builder, click on this. And there is this get records element over here. Just select this label. I'm going to paste this in the label text area. Object we have to select as contact. Now here we are going to put some conditions. Now before we proceed further, what we have to do is why, what this uh, get record is going to do. If you have worked on SQL query in uh, Apex or just simple SQL queries, this works same that way. So let's quickly add the condition as well. Then I'll explain further into that. So the first condition that we have to add is first name equals contact dot first name. So go back to your filter, uh, this uh, flow builder. Field is first name, select this. Equals to value is the record variable which we had created using that dot notation and the first name. So what it is going to do is it will get all the records where first name equals to contact dot first name. And this contact dot first name holds the value, whatever we have input in the uh, name input field on the screen flow, right? So this works simply basically as the uh, SQL query we have in uh, Salesforce. So how am I, how, if I try to convert this into SQL query, how can I do that? So select ID comma first name from contact where first name is equal to contact dot first name and contact dot first name is coming from the input field. If you do not have any idea about SQL query, that's also fine. Now in the simple or layman terms, it's just comparing all the records, all the records first name with the first name of the record which we are inputting or we are pro providing the data in the screen flow. Similarly, what we have to do is we have to check for the last name. And both of these conditions will be in and operator. So just click on add condition and the last name field. Again, it is going to check the whole list of contact records where last name of any of the contact from the list of contacts that are present in my org is equal to the last name that I have provided in the record input form on the screen flow. So just place the last name. So based on if at all, both of these values are satisfied and the logic, all the conditions are met, then only it is going to get me the record. That means there is a match that uh, there is already a match present in my org with the same first name and last name that I'm providing in my screen flow input name component, right? Now that's all we have to do in this second unit. Just click on done, click on save. So here in the screen flow, uh, screen element, I will be entering the details over here. First name, last name, 
then the, these value, if you remember in the previous video, I have explained that in the advanced section, we had added these two values. And there also I have told that uh, these uh, variables we are going to use further because the, these variables are storing the storing the values that we have provided in the these input fields. So we are using these two contact dot first name and last name in order to see if there are already existing records of contact by the same first name and last name that we are entering into the record form. That's all we have to do. Just click on save and go back to your challenge and check whether we have passed all the parameters that are required to pass this challenge. So this unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.